Hello, I'm Dr. Trent Burrup, founder of the Institute of Chiropractic and Acupuncture Therapy. There is a large percentage of the population that does not go see a chiropractor because they are concerned about the cracking and the popping that is associated with chiropractic adjustments. Because, I mean, what is that cracking? Like, that can't be normal, is it? Is that good for you? Like, I don't want my bones or my joints cracked. And there's a lot of misunderstanding about what that actually is. So this is the first of two videos to explain that. In this video, we're going to explain what that cracking actually is. And then in the second video, we'll explain, is that good? Is that bad? Are there pros? Are there cons? What, why, would, why would that be good or detrimental? So what is it? The cracking in the joints that, are, it's, that is associated with chiropractic adjustments is a phenomenon called cavitation. What cavitation is, or how it works, is when two bones come together and form a joint, there are ligaments, which are just tight, springy rubber bands that hold the bones together so they can flex and move. There's a large percentage of the joints in your body that are closed joints. What that means is there's a big fibrous capsule or ligament that goes all the way around the joint to close it up and hold it tight. The reason it does that is to hold fluid in the joint and that fluid acts as a lubricant so as the joint moves it's able to flex and move very easily. What happens is as joints move sometimes those joints will move in ways that actually stretches the joint and it creates extra space inside of that closed joint. When we create more space in there than there actually is, it creates a vacuum in there and the pressure starts to go up. If the pressure gets high enough, then tiny little air bubbles will condense out of the fluid to equalize the pressure. There are some researchers that believe as those air bubbles condense out really fast, that's what makes the noise. Other researchers believe that as those ligaments are getting stretched, when the air bubbles come out, and equalize the space, the ligament snapping back is what creates the noise. Kind of like a rubber band is it if you snap it or pop it. Either way, it doesn't really matter what causes the noise, it makes a noise, a cracking or a popping sound. The thing to understand about cavitation is that it's just incidental to certain joint movements. There are some people whose joints cavitate very easily. They can crack their knuckles real easy, they can turn their head to the side and their, their neck will crack, or they can rotate in their chair and their back will crack. There are other people who couldn't cavitate a joint or crack a knuckle if their life depended on it. It's just their joints don't do that very easily. There's not a good or a bad about either of those. It's just all of us are built a little differently. The other thing to understand, some people believe that that cracking is the chiropractic adjustment. And it's not. It's just incidental to some of the adjustments. There are many, many chiropractic adjusting techniques out there that do not involve joint cracking, popping, or cavitation. There are tools that can be used or instruments. There's very light force touch techniques. There are many ways of doing it. There are other people who, once they get adjusted, patients leaving the chiropractic office, as the joints start to loosen up and, and realign, They'll feel a crack or a pop as they go to get in their car, and if they don't understand that, they think everything just popped out of place. And it didn't. It's just the joints cavitating as the body realigns itself. My invitation to you is that if you are one of those that's concerned about the cracking and popping, and is that normal, and I don't want my joints cracked, please do not let that be the thing that prevents you from experiencing a reduction in pain and enjoying the benefits of better health through chiropractic care. Because there are many, many ways that we can realign the spine and get joints working better without cavitation. Thanks for listening. Again, I'm Dr. Trent Burrup.